A little while ago, I covered all the heroes who can counter Aramusha's blade blockade. Ironically, Kyoshin also has an all block, so of course I had to go and break Kaze Stance. As a refresher, Kaze Stance has superior block status, meaning heavy and light attacks bounce off this guard, giving Kyoshin a safe counter. Or so we thought. Zone and other specific attacks ignore this rule and don't bounce off a superior block. This means the animation plays out as if the hero's attack was blocked or landed as normal. So with all that in mind, who is able to counter Kyoshin's counters? On a correct read, all Kaze Stance moves can be countered by Conqueror, Lawbringer, Centurion, and Shaolin. Like with Aramusha's Blade Blockade, side attacks can be dodged or parried, while the top attack must be parried. Conqueror, Centurion, and Shaolin must feint their zones. While Shaolin can counter after the first or second hit of the zone, Centurion can only counter after the first hit of a zone attack. Conqueror fares the best as their Shield Bash beats Fujin Force after dodging either the Light or a Zone, while Lawbringer cannot beat Fujin Force with a Shove after dodging the Zone attack. Centurion has no dodge attack or bash, and a follow-up Light attack won't land before a Fujin Force does, but it can obviously be parried. Shaolin can also parry any attack or dodge of the side attacks, but his dodge attacks will lose to a Fujin Force follow-up. A Shaolin player expecting this can of course parry or deflect it if they see it coming. PK, Nabushi, and Zanhu can all dodge to cancel the recovery of their zone attacks, with PK and Nabushi being able to soft faint theirs into a dodge. This means only the light and zone are dodgeable, and they will lose to the heavy. All their dodge attacks will also lose to Fujin Force, but it can be countered if it's expected. Nabushi's side dodge heavies also ignore superior block. After that, she can flow into Hidden Stance to beat the light or zone attack. If Nabushi throws a light attack from Hidden Stance, it will land before Fujin Force, but a kick will not. Once again, Hito can trade with these attacks, and fares much better than against Aramusha's Blade Blockade. If Kyoshin heavies and Hito lights, Hitokiri wins the trade 14-10 and has frame disadvantage. If Kyoshin lights or zones and Hito lights, Hito wins the trade 14-8 and again has frame disadvantage. If Kyoshin goes for Fujin Cuts after any attack and Hitokiri throws a heavy, Yoshi only gets one hit in for one more damage, meaning Hito wins the trade with 22 damage. However, if Hito heavies on any option and Kyoshin follows up with Fujin Force instead of Fujin Cuts, Hito can't get any damage in. Finally, we have the multi-hit zones from Berserker, Shaman, and Shinobi. As Kyoshin's follow-up attacks don't have hyper armor, they can't be used to interrupt any hits from these zone attacks. Like Itakiri, Berserker can trade with Kyoshin's Kaze Stance attacks. Berserker's 9 damage light attack after their zone attack means they win 2 out of 3 trades and also have chain pressure. Shaman can't land the second part of her zone attack unless Kyoshin delays the counter. If Shaman soft faints a bleed stab to either side, she can trade with any attack. However, a top stab will beat all attacks. If Shaman faints at this point, she can counter each of Kyoshin's options. As usual, a Fujin Force follow-up will beat a dodge heavy. If the second part of Shaman's zone hits Kaze Stance, she can't counter anything. Finally, Shinobi is, well, Shinobi and breaks all the rules as per usual. Shinobi can't trade with the second part of his zone attack or counter anything if Kyoshin catches it with Kaze Stance. But if they faint, they can parry the heavy attack from the top or dodge the light on the left. The zone and light can be parried only if the Kyoshin delays the counters even just a little. However, while testing Shinobi, we found if Kyoshin input the heavy attack just as the second attack hit, he's stuck in some slow motion parry animation. You okay? oh, no, bro, I'm good. It looks weird, but if Shinobi faints to light or heavy on the right or another zone attack, they will get parried. Why this happens, I don't know, but it sure as hell looks funny. If this happens, Kyoshin is also unable to counter guard break. While testing, we also found that if you block an attack in Kaze stance, you can Parry any incoming attacks that hit immediately after while staying in Kaze stance. You don't have to change your block direction, you just need to throw a heavy at the right time. This means a Kyoshin can parry in the middle of Berserkers, Shamans, Shinobis, and the last part of Shaolin's zones. This does mean that when you're outnumbered and you block an attack in Kaze stance, you can parry any attack that may come out immediately after, including unblockables. As Kyoshin isn't locked into an animation after blocking an attack like Aramusha, he definitely has fewer heroes that can counter his all guard moves. However, the lower damage from his counters means that those who can trade have a bigger advantage. Like with my video Breaking Blade Blockade, take this all with a grain of salt. Unless you're scripting or have ridiculously good reaction speeds, you do have to make a read or get really really lucky to correctly parry or dodge these Kaze stance attacks. It is also dependent on when the Kyoshin throws the counter attack. If the Kyoshin delays their counter even by a little, I'm sure there's plenty more heroes who are able to counter these moves. If I didn't mention a hero, it's because they couldn't counter any attacks or trade with hyper armor. Trust me, we tried them all on stream. A huge thank you to Hashtech and Master James for testing this all with me, and also to my Patreon supporters, especially Sweckles, Kyle, and Shadow. Have a good one, I'll see you on the next stream and video.